Energy Air Force Aim Strike Let's Play Update 4. Let's go over the details of your mission. We've picked up our trades on an enemy flight. They appear to be headed towards Sithar. Gargoyle, you fly cap in the southwest quadrant and keep them away from the base. Any enemy air targets you encounter from your cap station should be engaged and destroyed. Unicorn will also fly cap, but in the southeast quadrant. Your launch time is 0900 hours. That's all, and good hunting. Today we get a new F-16, UD. It looks almost identical to the older model, except for the tail section and the wingtip sidewinder rails, and the skin. Performance-wise, it's also an almost exact copy, except for... The hell? Why would I want this on a cap mission? Is there any way I could make this any more ridiculous? There is! Oh, it has tanks in this game. Um, you know what? Remind me to try this later. Let's unlock a more fitting fighter first. Okay, the only major change from the F-16 we've had before is the type of the sidewinders we carry. And yes, they come with the same helmet-mounted sight we saw on Hornet. This is our first day on the new base. There's Unicorn taking off. We could have picked the Hornet, as you saw. The way this game works is that it offers you some planes only in certain missions, but if you clear the mission on that plane, you keep it and can use it whenever you want. You can even replay earlier missions with it. That is, unless you fly a carrier mission where you have to pick a naval type. There is my flight. I should be turning soon. After the A2 sign. Unicorn flight, we show you at waypoint one. Robert, roger that. Crap, I was too fast. I could have rolled all the way to the end, but no. Hold on tight. Phew, the gear didn't break. It can. It's things like this that make me not skip taxiing. I think the cockpit here is a little different. The threat warning lights on the left are replaced with a different panel. Uh, sorry guys, my shoelace was untied. Are we good to go? Tower of Gargoyle 1 and 2 for takeoff. Gargoyle, clear for Sierra Hotel departure. Climb and maintain Angels 3. Switch departure 297.6. Gargoyle, clear for takeoff. Unicorn flight, we show you at waypoint 2. Just looking cap now. Copy, Unicorn 1. Bravo, this is Unicorn. Breaking heat for cap. Big front. Have a good one. Gargoyle 2, airborne. Passing 2.5. Hell of a nice day today, isn't it? You know, I really don't think 
about it anymore. It's a perfectly average day. One thing that annoys me about the Falcon's HUD is that it doesn't show you how high and how fast you're supposed to fly. On the Hornet and a few other planes it does, with a number under your current speed and altitude. Gargoyle flight, we show you at waypoint one. Okay, we're at the first waypoint. Run. Target is at bearing 360. Roger nav data, Starburst. Thanks. Starburst, contact. 195, 22 miles. It's 11, clear. Unicorn, your group, ref BRAA, 195, 22 miles, 11,000. Fish bed, hostile. You are weapons free. Uniform copy, Starburst. By the way, are you getting the hang of the beeps in this game? There is the Master Caution beep for stalling, there is one for waypoints, and there is at least one for a new contact showing up on the warning receiver. Starburst, contact, single group. Declare. Gargoyle, your group. Bearing 360. 30 miles. 14,000. Fish bed, hostile. You are weapons free. Gargoyle copy, Starburst. Hostile. Committing. Gargoyle flight, we show you at waypoint 2. Target is bearing 345. Rusting air, vector northwest. Starburst, contact, single group. Declare. Bravo 1, we'll take care of these guys. It's your assigned target. These guys are all over the place. You sink back into me. Airport 3, finger 2 o'clock. Sure is nice and quiet up here today. Don't get too comfortable over there. Never know who's around that small bank. There you go! There's two more MiGs and I'm down to one AMRAM. Cap, flare. If you look to your right, you can see smoking fish beds. Go get them to. Oh, there is a Sam. The green number eight. When they first appear in aim strike, they are perfectly harmless and out of the way. Later, though, all your ground targets will be covered with these green eights. Gargoyle two, Fox three. Gargoyle one, good kill. Oh crap, don't tell me I stole the kill from two and he'll have to line up for a shot again. I'm lost. Where is the horizon? I've got two. Apparently you can go back to air to air radar by switching to the MRAM even if you don't have any left. Lock. It might help in spotting some out of sight enemies. Gargoyle 2, Fox 3. Cap, flare. Gargoyle flight, we show you at waypoint 3. Bugger, this is the last target. And we are only at the start of the 3 minute timer. I've got two. Cap, flare. Splash that flight of fish bed. We monitor clear skies on our end. Good work, Gargoyle flight. Well, it was a nice mission. I guess I can relax a little now. Radar warning, stay sharp! Oh shit, I'm flying into the Sams. I've got two. What? Come back. Come on to leave them, they are unicorns kills. Oh, the MiGs are looking this way. Two, could you go back to what you were planning to do? Coming in against air target. I feel a little safer now. 
I've got two. I haven't shown you the gun side, have I? This is EEGS, Enhanced Envelope Gun Sight. The cross shows the direction the gun is trained at, and the two streaming lines, called the funnel, mark the trajectory the shots are going to follow. Bravo 1, I'm too far from you. Hit him there now. It is designed specifically for close-range turn fights. The way you are supposed to use it is you follow an enemy plane through a turn and put it into the funnel so that the wings stick out of it and the body is inside. Then you pull the trigger and ease on the stick. Ideally, you'll fire a burst in front of the enemy and they'll fly straight into it. 